alumni. Come on, make some noise. Good afternoon. I'm Fred Smith from the class of 1963. Uh, being here in this gymnasium today brings back many memories. Uh, the plays, the concerts, and other performances, the basketball games, but something that I know you all have not experienced. Uh, we used to have our proms in this gym uh, because we had a Votech department we could transform this gym into one of the best ballrooms you've ever seen. And we also had our graduations here. Grandma Heights opened in September 1950. It was at that time a junior senior high school. What many people don't realize, it was the first high school built for black students with county funds in this county. Students came from all over the county to attend Fremont. They came from Akakee, Laurel, Bowie, everywhere. Many of the students who were bused here passed by the front doors of literally four or more white schools in this county. The staff of the school were handpicked by the first principal, Mr. G. James Golson, who was the principal from 1950 to 1969. They were all very outstanding and very dedicated in preparing us for the real world. The most important thing that they stressed was critical thinking. Look at a situation, evaluate the pros and cons, and make a decision. But more importantly, if you fail, pick yourself up and try again. In the early years of Fairmont, there were four different distinct programs. We had the general program, we had the academic program, which was your college prep, we had to take science, math, and a foreign language for four years. We had a commercial program, which taught you how to type and do shorthand. But another key thing we had that we valued a great deal was the Votech program, where we had auto mechanics, cosmetology, print shop, bricklaying, I mean, most of us who had cars and drove to school, uh, they used our cars to practice on, uh, to fix, and we could get them serviced right in the auto mechanics department. And one thing that I'm sure you all would never have agreed to was the dress code that we had at Fairmont back then. Sure, you got uniforms today, but the dress code we had at Fairmont back then was number one, the young ladies could not wear pants. The guys had to wear shirts with collars. And at no time were tennis shoes or shorts allowed anywhere in the building except in the gym or on the athletic field. The band, the choir, dance were all sources of pride and represented the school well. Prior to 1962-63 school year, the athletic teams could not compete with the white schools in the county. We could only compete with DC schools, Douglas, and other schools in Charles or Anne Arundel or Baltimore County. At its peak, we had more than 1,900 students in this building because at that time it was a junior senior high school. But in 1961, Mary McLeod Bethune was opened as a middle school at the top of the hill 
where Robert R. Gray Elementary sits today. That's when the seventh and eighth graders moved to that building. In 1972, the desegregation order dramatically changed Vermont forever. Students and staff were transferred to other schools and other staff and students were transferred to Fairmont. Several attempts were made to close this school, but it was through the efforts of the community, the staff, elected officials, and the alumni that kept Fairmont open. The current building has now been designated a historical site, so it will not be torn down when the new building opens next, later this year. Come on, come on, put your hands together. All right, come on, everybody stand to your feet. Everybody, everybody stand to your feet. Come on, come on, let's show some respect. This is alumni right here. This is alumni. The school has produced graduates in all fields of endeavor. And one thing that we're planning for uh, that will be available in the media center in the new building is we're going to be getting uh, the history of the various students and you will be able to utilize them and utilize them as a resource for any career opportunity that you may be seeking. One last thing. I ask, the alumni ask, that you take advantage of all the opportunities you have here at Fairmont. Your opportunities today are far greater than what we have. So if those who have gone on before you were able to achieve, there is no excuse for you. Thank you. Noise. Make some noise. That's Mr. Smith. That's a love now right there.